Hey, welcome back. Um, if you wonder what happened, <laughs> life is getting a little complicated. If you wonder what happened to 183B, you need to go to my Facebook. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm broadcasting on both um, Facebook and YouTube, so we'll see how this works. Anyway, as you can see, I've done I'm an orange layer, red drawing, blue layer, brown drawing. So basically four layers of transparent acrylic, now coming in with opaque. And uh, let me turn you around to the real camera. There are my grandchildren and one friend and my daughter watching them, playing in the front yard. And um, again, here's my reference. It's a uh, photograph and a copy of a painting I did in Norfolk about uh, five weeks ago. So again, doing a painting for a second time, uh, not at all my, my favorite kind of thing to do. So why are you doing it? Because well, I'm being paid. And for an artist, a full-time professional artist, that's a really important consideration <laughs> in case you were wondering. Part of the reason maybe I'm not a starving artist is I'm willing to do things like this. <laughs> um, but come on, not a bad way to make a living. So uh, it is a challenge. So it does doing a, a, a repeat of a painting. Uh, no question presents a unique challenge. Um, it's hard to get the same level of energy. Uh, I think that's the hardest thing. It's just hard to get psyched up to do a painting in a sense that you've already done. So, the reason I'm telling you all that is to say, so here's what I do to get around that. And that is, I steel myself up, I grip my teeth, my fist and say, Grr! I'm gonna do a better painting of this ship than I did five weeks ago in Norfolk. So that, that's my solution is, no, I'm not gonna copy this painting, are you kidding? That's nuts. Why would anybody ever copy a painting? To hear my inner self talk? Do it again, do it again. I'm not copying a painting, I'm doing an improvement. I'm doing a better painting of uh, the same subject matter. Um, so, and I've, of course I've done this kind of thing several times throughout my career where somebody sees a painting or, or I mean, good grief, I've painted Fayetteville Street. You, you've watched me paint Fayetteville Street 20 times if you follow me any length of time at all. So that's my story, I'm sticking with it. Um, I'm painting outside because um, if I painted this large indoors during this phase, during this messy phase of my painting, I'd be flicking, I'd be flicking paint all over the floor, the walls, the ceiling, other things. It would not be a pretty picture. So I decided even though it's nearly 90 degrees out here, it's not that yet, I guess. I don't know what it is. 85 at the moment, maybe. Kind of warm. Anyway, I decided to take the time to set up my easel, one easel, in the driveway. And I think that's what pulled the, the center of interest with the kids. That's what the kids like to hang out with me. Is that sweet? It is sweet indeed. I did, I did a tall ships painting about 12, 13, 14 years ago. 
quite a while ago. There was a tall ship festival in Beaufort, North Carolina. Several of the same ships that I saw in Norfolk. And um, I observed at the time that if you're doing a painting of tall ships, what you're painting more than anything else is sky. Because it's simply sky uh, cut up, chopped up, diced up into pieces by masts and spars and, and lines, right? So in my opinion, if you're doing a painting of a tall ship, you better do a darn good painting of the sky because that's really what you're painting. So when I uh, launched into this painting uh, a couple of months ago, not five weeks ago, um, that is that is certainly from the get-go, that is what I launched into. Even though the photograph does not in the least indicate this kind of dramatic sunset sky, um, it is what I chose to do. And I think it was a good it was a good decision. Of the three paintings I did there in Norfolk that weekend, um, I think this was clearly the favorite. The three. Those are my favorites, by the way. But that's a, that's often the case with us artists, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Enough of the white. Uh, I'm gonna let, give that a minute to dry. I might come in here with some pencil in a minute and then do glazes on top of that. Thanks for watching. I'll be back and if you want to see the next episode switch over to Facebook Dan Nelson Art. Thanks for watching.